two set and mega. Ah, okay. But they have they have a couple more sets to win each before they can. Two sets also been losers for a long time. Yeah, I he lost to um Joey at Toon Link round one. Whatever his like, tag is round now. One. Yeah, why not? Yeah, it was like round one or two. Uh, but we are into top eight here, so this is gonna be all best of five in top eight. This one, honestly, uh, kind of just a more classical matchup for Smash. You'd be like, oh, this is more awkward for Rob. No, it isn't. That's yeah, this is just Smash Bros. Yeah. Uh, it Fox Rob is the same as Fox most characters, where it's like either of you can die at a moment's notice. If you can die, Fox nice Fox isn't used to someone actually being able to box with him to be fun. Yeah. Uh, uh, but however, Rob... And it's very funny that yeah. Rob's one of the characters that can. Rob's one of the characters that can, but like the combos on Rob are kind of crazy. Yes. I don't know if we'll see too many custom combos for big bodies, but you don't entirely need them. Your other combos are just easier. Yeah. We'll also see how much of a gyro game Paolo has, because Fox can do some crazy stuff with items. That was a great parry. It was, yeah. Almost going with the neutral air, and that'll kill with the up air there. So good first stock for Vidad. Great start for him so far. And a slow start from Paulo, and he was in the first wave, so he's been saving for a bit. But I kind of noticed that in his earlier sets, too. Mm -hmm. He was much more of an adapter than he was uh, a strong out the gate player. Yeah, he's not falling too far behind here, which I think if that's sort of the way you're going into sets, you're starting to start slow and kind of learn what your opponent does. This is not a terrible start. You know, certainly Rob close to kill percent, that up air almost taking it. Uh, this is probably up smash percent, even with how heavy Rob is. Yeah. And he went for it right there, so he probably agrees. And Ooh. he's dead. Okay, well, <laughs> all of a sudden it's the back showing light. up. Yeah. This is a dangerous situation to be with the gyro. Good catch, and then he up bees. Not sure what that was. He was unsure if he was on stage um, or not. He's oh, a, he yeah. He did that on a set earlier, too, where he'll up beat even though he's on ledge. Right. Probably trying to, like, OS it there in case he goes past ledge, but didn't yeah. think he'd get on stage. So, not gonna lie, bad position for him <laughs> in this yeah. game. Uh, let's see if we get that more adapted the next day. A little inch. early on the down smash. Uh, I'm surprised. Yeah, I should probably close it out now. Just go up hit and kill him. He's at this point. Yep. Yeah, there it is. Didn't quite have to do that, but yeah. then it works. Hey, whatever yeah. kills. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't mind being up there as well, though, because then you have the down air on the immediate side B. Yeah, or I if you try to like, wait later. Yeah, I would have yeah. thought that, too. That would. Th I thought that would have been easier. Obviously, but both hey, worked. that killed. So. Yeah. Whatever, both whatever kills worked. was optimal. Uh, so let's see some... Let's see if we'll get that adaptation yeah. from Paulo or if I overhyped him. <laughs> I, he, was, uh, he, he adapted really hard to Q. Mm. He basically got three stock game one, yeah. and it was just a best of three. And then he right. won the next two. So was, and he got three stock game one here. So yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see. See. And he's got more games. Uh, he's got more games to work with. This is best of five. Uh, Vidal looking real good there, though. You know, it was, I, it was close early. Vidal had a good start, but it was still within reach. And then that back air read really just sealed it and really ran away from there. Now, I want to know what he's thinking about for stage. Maybe he's not thinking about stage. He wants to think about the matchup more and just keep it the same stage. Right. But you usually want uh, less. You want a smaller stage. Right. Because uh, one of you has a projectile. This is true. One of you has two projectiles. One of you really has good. two really good projectiles. The other's laser. So, yeah. And you saw earlier where he was kind of getting walled out for a bit, like chip percent while trying to get right. in. Right. Oh, single laser there. Love that. Shout out to our, our good friend Trap Barrel. And, yep. <laughs> Back they're going to take it again. A very early kill. A very good call out on the recovery. Yeah. He really had to call out the height there really well. We're going for the early side B, which we hadn't actually seen much. So a, a good read there that he hasn't really shown yet in the set. Rob's moves in a rare case form. Struggling to work right there in the corner. Yeah. Good okay. fate. He was a good, it was a good cross up uh, air drift there. Yeah. To get right past the grab. And that's super important, obviously. You know, that first that first game really got away from him after the early kill with the back air. So this time, we're able to get back into it, just down a little bit of percent. And in this matchup, this is not a large amount of percent as we see the up tilts come out here. That was a case of Rob being big. He got yes. up from the other side. Yeah, Ooh, Rob was uh, very large. He's picking a lot of weight while off stage. Well, I appreciate the patience. Sometimes you do not get hit. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. okay yeah. He was going for a mangle. He's got to. He's got to go for something there. If you yeah. go for the straight up angle, you're going to get downward every time. So. Yeah. Worth a shot, misses the angle to right up the ledge. And Vidad is off to a fantastic start again. That was okay. a great up B on the other hand. Yeah, that was a great angle. I respect the attempt from Vidad. Uh, missing the he's in trouble here. He's okay. Yeah, he's still not in a great spot. Missing the gyro catch on there really screwed him. Yeah. Another go, okay, practice his angles, you know? Just making sure he's gonna hit them next time. Oh, and it makes me so happy when he will actually punish Fox up tilt. That move yeah. is really minus. He's dead. He's dead. Playing a bit at life Please there. punish Fox yeah. up tilt on shield. Yeah. It's minus 16 or 17. It was 17 in Smash 4. I think it's still something like that. Um, I promise you can punish it. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone everyone falls for it. So good to see that. 
So that time, that was too much ledge play. Yes. That, you're getting too cute with the angles. Yeah. <laughs> like, they were good angles. Some they of were, them were good. They were, but you they don't want to be there all the time. But he kept going to ledge. It's yeah. like, all right, you're at ledge versus Rob. Yeah. Uh, and you're getting loose. So, and Fox, as good as Fox he, is in a lot of situations, not great at getting off ledge. Doesn't have a lot of anything yeah, special, just, especially with side B not being that great at that in this game. And just a just general statement, yeah. yeah. He's not good at it. Rob is good at it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they did change the stage, which I greatly appreciate. Because, mm -hmm. you know, every stage is smaller lengthwise in yes. Pokemon Stadium. <laughs> and a little bit lower blast zone on the top. Going to help Fox a lot more. Yeah, should, yeah, that should help Fox more than Rob. Um, also, he's been dying in a back air nonstop. So. Back air or dare, I believe. The yeah. yeah, the Rob uh, the Rob off the top kill power has not really been a factor. He's only died off the top to up air at like 150. Yeah. <laughs> so that's going to kill anywhere. Which yeah, happens. He's actually starting up his pressure. All right. I understand going for case, though. It was like decently safe to go for it. I'm pretty sure you can get throw fair on Rob. Just try it. You can do that on most characters at low percents, if you're if like on certain DIs at least. So I'd imagine on Rob it's just guaranteed. I think it's just gonna happen. Okay, that was great. Alright, good shine. He needs that to was shine an insane more amount of stun. Yeah. On that, I, that he got a, what looked to be a near true follow up. Ooh. Okay, really well spaced neutral there. I'm actually not gonna kill. He's but really good at sneaking in there, and yeah, that's Fox's there bread and butter. But he's gotten some insane nares in situations. Attack the invincible Rob happens. Love to see it. Doesn't usually win for you. I like seeing the shine more in general. I think he's he's gotten chipped out by projectiles so much this set. I agree. That, like, why not just go for that more often? You're not getting punished for it super hard from full screen like that. I agree, but you gotta be ahead of the time on the adaptation because you can bait it and punish it. Yeah. And you don't want to be giving Rob something like that. All right. Not a right. not quite a Twitter gyro combo, but it's pretty good. Yeah, that's, you know, that's all you need. You don't need to be killing someone at zero every time you touch a gyro. You need to have it be a threat that they don't want to just leave it out on the field. And that just just, just enough room to I run think up he might have, I think he might have been holding in. Because I was yeah. about to say, the one weird thing about being in the corner versus Fox is he loses his earliest kill option. Yeah. Because but he got it right there. Got it right there. <laughs> and that's dead. I think that's just raw dead from a this. Yup. Oh, it's going to be tough. Great he angle. Be dead. He's been practicing the angle. Okay. Yeah. Vidal had just enough fuel to get back there. If but it was a different character, you might have been able to go down to hit him because he didn't have much left to like mix it up. Yeah. And now he's stuck above Fox. He's this is going so much better for Paolo so far. The adaptation has been great. Yeah, you were talking about it, and it's, it's working out. That up beast stall near ledge also was huge. Got so much damage off that. He's not playing around a ledge. Being this watch is doing so much better. <laughs> great, great patience, All right, too. Yeah, I like All that. Right. He needed that charge, too. That barely killed. Yeah, that's a really good call out because that, like, that kind of jump delayed option on the stage is a really hard option to deal with reactively. That's kind of like you're you're risking that they're not going to do something preemptive that'll hit you for it and ba baiting them like, hey, react to this quickly. And yeah. Paolo was like, all right. <laughs> Back to Swimming also, he's like, I respect the fact that you're, you haven't jumped in the air. You were in buffering options. Yeah. I'm going to go for your level two then. <laughs> that was that was great adaptation. Yeah. But now it's on Baldi's, Baldad's turn. Vidad? Yeah. Uh, Vidad. Vidad, thanks. Yeah. So Vidad... We'll see, what was the kind of, okay, back to the S2. Yeah. Um, so sticking with pretty similar stages here, nothing crazy. Makes sense. Um, <laughs> yep, now he's, he's getting to hang on what he's doing out of disadvantage at these low percents, get longer combos, that's a rough position. Good up I like that, not going to yep. ledge this time. That's much better, even though he gets hit for it, he takes a, a rising forward air, even if there's a combo out of that, you're not gonna die. And he was high enough that there was no combo out of it anyway. I do like he's, how fast Paolo is moving. I like how fast Paolo's moving, I like that this game, he, uh, Vidad's slowing it down. He was like, yeah. all right, that's not as dumb as yeah. me. I need to be getting a back foot. Because Rob is a character who can move at lightning speed and just kill you sometimes. And it was working that first game especially. Yep. And then as soon as that stops, I, I do like that adaptation. Just kind of be like, okay, let's chill out a little bit here. See what happens now. Oh, a I rough like the time picking there. up Gyro, which I do understand it is hard. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know how they missed each other there. Ooh, not gonna lie. Almost. I don't mind the up smash call out, especially since he didn't die for it. Um, I also really like that uh, Paulo didn't do Nair up smash there. He knew it yes. was going to kill just daily up smash. Okay, goes he tried the late smash, match. yeah. He got dodged most of the up air, but he kills at the end, so yeah. only helps so much. Yeah, that'll reduce the kill percent a little bit, even if you do get hit, but at that point you're well above the percent where it'll kill at like ground level anyway. Good boxing right now from B Dad. And we're just not seeing those reaction tech chases from Paolo the way we see from some Fox players. That is a really good anti-air. He has had some good anti-airs this set. 
but the, you know, when you see the best Fox players, you see up, like, tech chase into up smash be guaranteed, it feels like. And that's what I think we're missing so far. I think he's acknowledged in, like, in his own play, that's a weakness, is he'll go for right. not like a super call on the tech, but something that's safe. Like, he'll cover, mm -hmm. he'll dash attack the roll away. If he rolls in, you're not punishing that dash attack. Right. Yeah, and you, you get something out of it if you're right, and you're fine if you're wrong, but it's, you're giving up that opportunity of, like, this should be a guaranteed stock here. I think that interaction there was the first time holding Gyro has been worse. Because yeah. he could have got Nair jab, but Gyro throw is slower than a frame two jab, right, yeah. so he didn't get anything. Oh, Ooh, what a back air. Great placement on that. That was, you know, I don't think it shield poked. I think he dropped it, but even, like, da in danger of shield poking from that range, and also delayed it enough that Talo thought he was safe. Yeah, it might have. He, he positioned it very well, and Fox's ears do poke out. But yeah, either way. Yeah, just really good placement on that. We've seen very good back airs in, back airs in general from Vidal this set. I like this. Sakurai combo? Oh, it doesn't go to the up air, but forward air gets some damage. And that's where I like seeing the shine. Like, there's no risk to it. You might as well throw it out in case he hits you. Okay. Okay, He, sure. he made that work out for him. Yeah, <laughs> that was odd. <laughs> it, it, an interesting mix-up. You know, it, it canceled the roll so we could act out fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes everything just works out for you. Yeah. He is getting a bit high in percent. Uh, we saw that because of Fox's lightness, he can even cover he can cover both mashes at around 130. Right. So he does have a bit of a cap to his stock. Yeah, you get, you get to a point here where, I mean, at this point, a grab is, is likely death, even yeah. if you have a chance with a mix-up. So this is this is a rough spot. He's on ledge as well. He goes he too just low. And, and yeah, he's he, going to go for that angle again. That's the exact same uh, angle. Yep. Miss. Unfortunate, but... And I like Vidal not trying to be too ahead of the game, not trying to make that big adjustment of like, oh, you're going to go 